Hi crafters, this is Crafty Sabi, and I'm here today to do a quick little uh, video with you. I um, can't even really call this a tutorial because <laughs> it's uh, rather simple. I'm kind of going back to basics here with what we're going to make today. Just because I was running short on um, tabs for um, my book, like my book page, my book pages in journals that I'm making and and to use on like tags uh, once I create them. Sometimes I like to put a little tab on the sides just for uh, added interest. And um, I ran out, so I decided to sit down and and create some. So originally what happened was I actually went to Amazon to see if I could purchase a, a tab punch and I had a really hard time actually finding one. So there is one by, I believe it's, I think it's We Are Memory Keepers, I'm not too sure, but the price of that punch for me here was um, I believe $26 or something. And you know, I really couldn't justify spending, you know, close to $30 for a stamp or a tab punch when I could uh, probably, you know, come up with something myself. And I have in the past, I'm um, not sure if I've ever shared this before, and I'm sure we've seen this plenty of times before. So I decided to come down to my craft room and go through my old punches and I haven't really been using my punches very much anymore but um, I would like to get back into it and I have a rather you know big collection of stamps so I just kind of went through and picked out the ones that I thought would work for um, creating tabs so a punch that has uh, a shape to it that once I folded the paper um, you know it would match up perfectly so like a perfect square or a scallop square or, um, or or something like that and I'll show you what I mean in just a second so first of all these are you know quite a few tabs that I made um, and I pulled out just scrap pieces of paper so I have vintage like vintage graph paper here that I used uh, I have some scrapbook booking paper that I made copies of. I have book page that I have here, music page that I made tabs out of. This is some printed paper that I just recently copied on my photocopier. Um, let's see, and I use that. I so different things and um, different shapes and different sizes, and I'll show you in a minute how I achieve that. So I have um, both sides that are really pretty. And then I glued them only halfway, leaving the straight edge unglued. So that way, when it did come time to um, use them on a tag or a book page, I could just easily apply some glue in there and then apply it to my project. So that one's uh, rather big for this and it's not the right color, but but you, you see my point, right? I could just um, slide it right onto there without a problem. I can glue it down and then done. Um, same kind of thing if this was my page in my journal. Same kind of thing. These are open. I would just, you know, slide it onto there. Look how pretty. And, uh, you know, glue it down. You could put them anywhere you want. And, and that's it. So I just wanted to be able to have a lot of them in my stash to be able to, to choose from. And uh, so that's what I spent um, some of my morning doing. I, um, my son's girlfriend, lovely girl that she is, <laughs> um, bought this for me. So uh, this was something I got in my little Easter basket that she got me and really cute papers. They're six by six, and I was able to punch with my punches, which I'll show you in a second, at least 10, 10 or 12 um, shapes out of a six by six. So it's quite a bit. And then, like I said, I, I went to my scrap bin, and I just, um, like I said, I just picked out all the things that I thought I would like 
as tabs and um, I did that. So it doesn't have to be just scrapbooking paper. It could be whatever you have and it's a great way to use up scraps. So um, I know I'm going to get some questions on the punches that I used. So unfortunately, like I said, I've had these punches for so long that I don't remember the names of all of them. I'm going to do my best. Um, we'll get through it. Some of them I labeled, some of them I didn't, but these are the ones I have. You don't have to have these punches. You could go through your own, um, but I'll, I'll show you uh, some of the ones that I have that I used for this. So th there's this one here, really pretty shape. If you fold this right in half here when, and fold them together, the two end, everything will match up perfectly. So that would make a great tab shape right there. So um, this is from EK Success, as most of my punches are. I've had these for a super long time. This one I did label, it's called Flourish Square. Right there. And um, when you punch this, you are left with this shape right here. And these came out really, really cute. So really pretty shape. Um, and we'll go through a few. We'll make a few together just so you can see uh, just quite how simple it is um, to make your own tabs. So that's the first one that I use. And I know someone is going to ask me about the size. Um, this is about... I'm going to say it's two by two, roughly. Okay. And then the other sort of large one that I have is also an EK Success Punch. Um, that's the shape there. And again, if you fold it in half, um, it'll match up perfectly. I don't know what this one is called, unfortunately. It is rather pretty, though. Love it. So I used that one, and that one makes, let's see, where is it, this shape here. Which is really pretty. Um, yeah, I just love these patterns too. So that. And then I have this one here. really pretty. Uh, also, I don't know what this one is called. Um, I don't know. There's some patent numbers on there, but I don't really think that's going to make a difference. Anyway, I really, this video wasn't it sort of intended for like what punches I have. I just wanted you to see that I'm sure that you have something like this in your own stash and you really could use anything as long as the pattern is the same all the way around, um, whether it's a circle or a square shape. But, um, so that's another one that I used. Um, then I used my, I believe this is a two, okay, this is a Recollections punch. This is a um, one and three quarters square, a scallop square. So I used that one. Sorry, I forgot to show you the shape that um, that previous one made. It kind of looks like a sunflower shape there and then that square one the large scallop square looks like this might be easier to see the white side so there's that and then I have one and a quarter inch um, scallop square there EK success and that makes this size and yes, this size does fit into the size nicely. So you could just see the difference in size there. And then sort of, uh, I have this one. It is super old. I don't know what this is called, but this is kind of one of my very first punches. It's like a three in one. It's awkward to use this thing. I never, never really worked well, but um, I, I'm just using this sort of solid one here on the end. It's really hard for me to punch and the reason I'm not punching anything out with you guys is because 
I did already so much. My thumb is killing me and um, I just don't want to do any more. But anyway, this is like a that size there, little circle scallop. And sorry, that one is about one and a quarter, just a little bit more than one and a quarter. And then finally, um, my son's girlfriend suggested I try using a butterfly, which I did. And because it's exactly the same on both sides, when you fold it in half, it matches up perfectly. So I'll show you how those turned out. And that's just a EK Success butterfly punch. So, so I had a few options. Um, and so let me just show you here's a butterfly so I left it open on this side so that I could um, attach it like this I thought that was a really clever idea so thank you Amelia <laughs> that was a good idea so I did a bunch like that too so anyhow, um, let me just quickly show you. It's so simple to do. You could just, you know, cut out a bunch in front of the TV and glue them and then you're totally set. Like now I have enough that I don't have to worry. I can probably always find something that I need for my projects. I'm just gonna get a, a glue page here and some glue stick. And so let's just start with this one. So you punch it out. And then you could, you know, put a few together and cut it on your cutter or I, I mean, I've done it every way. And, but I'm pretty confident with my scissors. So I'm just going to actually cut it right in half. So from here to here. And just like that, super easy. And then you'll put them back to back so that the scallops all match up together. Just like that. And now all I'm going to do is apply some glue on this side and I'm gonna leave the flat edge opened maybe just about a quarter of an inch so that I can slide it onto a page or a book page or a tag. So there we go. I just put a bit of glue on there and I leave that open and like I, shown you before you just slide them on there and you know and then you'll apply some glue super cute and super easy and I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of you know this already but uh for those you know beginners and um, some of you who think that maybe you know you have to like run out and get something just because you know it only serves that purpose is that you can find ways to create things on your own with what you have in your craft room yeah it would be great to have a uh, tab punch but like i said for um 26 dollars i was you know maybe if i had a coupon or something wouldn't be so bad but right now i just couldn't really justify it but anyway and I'm not putting down, you know, the punches and things like that. Like, if you have it, that's great. But um, so with something like this, I'm just going to fold it so that it matches up. Just so I can find the exact center. And then I'll just use my scissors and cut it down like that. And then same thing, just match it up. There, do not apply glue on the flat edge, but we'll just apply it here where the scallops are. Just like that. And like I said, I made a whole bunch just kind of sitting here for a bit this morning. Um, and there you go, that side is left open so that I can slide it onto my book page. And then, let's see, have this pretty little butterfly. I'm just gonna kind of slice it down the middle here. Just like that, so I have two halves. And same thing, I wanna leave the part with um, the little antenna is that what it is? <laughs> and <laughs> sort of his middle section here open. 
So I'm just going to apply some glue sort of on the edge of the wings here. Match them up. So now the other thing is, is um, I like to use a little bit of um, distress stain, but not always. So I thought about like, you know, distressing every single one, but then I thought, you know, not always do I want to um, have things with distress, distress ink on it. So I'm going to leave them and then as I need to, you know, um, stain them, I will. So, you know, I think it's quite easy to uh, apply some ink if you need to. Just like that. Can't really tell on camera, but... So yeah, so that is my simple, easy project uh, that you can do instead of, you know, going to buy a punch. Um, super easy to do. Just like that. I'm just going to apply glue on one side. like that leave it open so that you can slide it on simple easy and fun and uh, and that's it you guys so I'm just gonna sit here <laughs> and finish up um, I cut out a few more here uh, like I said you you could use any papers that you want you don't have to use anything that I showed you here I just thought that that pattern paper that um, my son's girlfriend gave me was really beautiful so it adds a nice pop of color to my pages and because um, sometimes that's what I lack and I think that would be perfect for me and or you know just have your neutral ones ready whoops and uh, you know attach them to your to your projects so that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed that um, just let me know what you think I hope it helps, you know, maybe somebody out there who sort of was struggling along. Like I said, I'm all about, um, you know, sort of finding ways and, you know, using things that you have already as opposed to always like running out to have to buy something. And I, I hate that the pressure of feeling that and I'm sure that a lot of people do. Uh, but like I said, I, I could go out there and buy the punches and, and whatever, but sometimes um you just kind of have to step back and and say you know is that 30 bucks really worth it how much am I going to use that punch when I have a basket full of punches that kind of do the same thing it might take a you know a couple steps more or whatever to achieve that but um in the long run you know it makes me happy and I'm having fun doing it so I think that's what matters most right enough chit chat I hope um I hope you guys are all staying safe and doing well um, things are crazy in the world again right now. I almost feels like there's no end in sight, but, um, nonetheless, I hope that uh, you guys are all taking good care of yourselves and staying happy and, um, and getting some crafting done. So that's it, you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will be back with another video. Uh, oh, I want to show you something. And then you can tell me what you think we're going to do with it. <laughs> so my husband th almost threw away this really old roll of, can anybody guess what this is? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's drywall tape. And now they have um, drywall tape that's like actually more like a sort of a plastic, a thin plastic grid that's sort of, uh, it's double sided, not double sided, it's sticky on one side. And so now you just apply it to the drywall and then put your mud on, I guess, I'm, I'm not a drywaller. 
but uh, it's supposed to be better than, you know, this paper. So he was throwing it away and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I might be able to do something with that. So what do you think I'm gonna do with it? I kind of already have an idea. I'm gonna pull out some other things that I haven't used in quite some time and see what I can come up with. And so hopefully we'll meet you back here and have another play with some drywall tape. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching and for supporting my channel and we will talk to you guys all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.